So uh, today's jobs day, being a Saturday, um, I have a bit of a production line of things going on uh, at the moment. So just in the background there, in the, oh, in the stock pot, we're doing a uh, batch of uh, ordinary, ordinary bitter, which I haven't done before. Generally done orange pale ale, which has been really good. Um, but this morning I picked up a, another batch of uh, um, uh, unpasteurised Jersey cow's milk from John's Jerseys in Ledbury. And at the moment I'm uh, doing the first part of uh, making yoghurt, which means um, stirring it uh, for at least 20 minutes and gently bringing it up to 85 degrees C. Uh, the last batch I did from this milk was just absolutely incredible. It was um, like Greek yoghurt, but without having to lose any of the whey, you didn't have to strain it at all. Um, obviously that's to do with the uh, culture that I use within the yoghurt anyway, which has uh, got two different strains of probiotics, which is really good. Um, got Arthur in the background there, making a noise with Lego. Um, and also we're making a conscious effort not to drink any pasteurised milk and not from cows that uh, have the A1 beta casein protein in their milk. Uh, after doing a, a lot of research, um, that protein has been linked to uh, nasty diseases ultimately. Um, and also pasteurization takes away all the good stuff that actually helps you digest milk, which is a bit crazy. Um, it's obviously done to avoid any bad stuff in the milk that we drink, but if you buy it from the right place in the first place, they cover all those risks for you. So I've just been realizing that the milk that we buy from supermarkets just isn't milk. Um, so this is the first step of doing another batch of yogurt, um, stirring and stirring constantly for about the last 26 minutes. I'm gonna keep checking the temperature and then uh, we'll get onto the next step of the process. So, uh, finished stirring the yogurt. Um, just basically leave that to sit with the lid on for five minutes and the prep that I do, uh, well I've already sterilised all these jars properly um, I, oh that's my alarm going off telling me the yoghurt's ready to go in here um, which is a sink of cold water with ice packs in it because I want to bring the temperature down as quickly as possible to 43 degrees C um, so I always get my stuff ready because I'm kind of focused on this and I don't really have time to prep anything else. Um, I've got my jug which I use so I go from the, the stock pot into the jug, from the jug um, uh, and in the jug is where I mix in the starter culture. I then pour the yoghurt into each of the pots obviously and then um, I've got the oven which is preparing over here so I want it to be at just about 40 degrees. Um, and then it's gonna, I'm going to leave it in the oven for, um, leave the jars with lids on in the oven for about uh, four hours. Um, the other method that I wanted to do um, was actually you put the oven at 100 degrees for 15 minutes, uh, 100 degrees C, and then you turn the oven off once you put the jars in and you just leave it with the oven off for eight hours and it works perfectly. But I just realised the yoghurt wouldn't be finished till 11 o'clock at night, um, so I want an earlier night than that. Uh, so uh, that's the next step and we'll take a look once we've got everything in jars. So I've got um, the stock pot with warmed milk is in the sink with the ice packs going around. Um, I'm just going to leave it because uh, I'm not going to stir it anymore but I do need to stir it occasionally otherwise a film will um, set on the top. And then I've got to do everything pretty quickly so I, I normally don't film the next bit but the next bit is weighing out the starter culture I've got some scales that are really super accurate down to a tenth of a gram because you need almost no starter culture at all so it's quite difficult to weigh in. So uh, that's the bit I'm going to do next. So uh, you probably can't quite see the starter culture but um, that's, that's the starter culture in there. Um, and based on the scales, uh, which you might not be able to see, um, there's not even three grams of starter culture for a whole six litres of, um, of milk. Um, and what I always do is actually get a, um, a, a mortar and I just crush up the starter culture so it's super fine so that when I put it in, um, uh, mix it in with the milk, um, which I will do here once that's cool enough. Um, so when I mix it in with the milk, it really distributes because I don't, because sometimes it doesn't actually dissolve very, very well. 
Um, so I'm going to do that really fine and uh, ready to then decant the milk into the jars. Okay, so we're all good. Uh, the decks are cleared, uh, which means I've uh, managed to um, fill all of the jars um, with what is at the moment milk, um, but left in a, a, a warming oven. You've got to leave the oven on about 40 degrees um, for about four hours I normally do it. Uh, after that you'll have yoghurt. Um, the only thing to do afterwards is um, take it out of the oven, leave it for 10 minutes um, on the side, put it into the fridge and then that will stop the acidification so the flavour doesn't get too pungent and then you've got live natural yoghurt that um, in my experience lasts a minimum of two weeks um, but generally can last to three weeks um, but you've got to keep it stored in a glass jar with a, uh, a metal top with some plastic on the inside. Um, I did try storing it in old coffee jars and the, the lid um, had like a paper top and that seemed to harbour a bit of moisture which wasn't very good. Um, so um, yeah, so I've, I've done it today with uh, five litres of milk and that's enough uh, natural yoghurt for two weeks for uh, my family, myself, my wife, my son and we also give some to my uh, mother-in-law and their friends. Um, so uh, for a little bit of effort, it's uh, all good and healthy and uh, it really helps to improve the gut bacteria, which makes us healthier and happier.